Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, and we are going to continue doing our lessons with part, part, whole in math. So I'm going to get our worksheet pulled up and we can do it together. All right, so I want you to look first at your number bond. Your number bond's right here. And we're going to find our part, part, whole to start. Remember, the whole number is the big number. That's your big whole complete number. So which number is the big number? Is it nine, one, or eight? Yeah, nine, nine is the big number. So I want you to go ahead, take your pencil and you're gonna write your little W next to your whole number, which means the other two numbers are the parts. Now it says, do the linking cubes, do, sorry, do the linking cube sticks match the number bond circle yes or no well we need to see what the whole number is look at our whole number see that nine so we need to see if we have nine cubes all together so we have to count let's do it together one two three four five six seven eight nine good we have nine <clears throat> as a whole number so so far that works then it says our first part is one. How many squares are shaded in? One, that works. And then it says the second part is eight. So we need to count the white squares to see how many we have there. So go ahead and count, get a different color for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that looks good to me. So we need to circle yes or no. Did it have nine cubes and one was black and eight were white? Yep. All right, next one, we're gonna go back and look at our number bond right here. And we're finding part, part, whole. So where is our whole number? Which is the number that's all by itself? The whole number is our big number. Is it nine, five, four? Nine, nine's the big number. So go ahead and label it with your little W. And then we know that the other two must be the parts. So you can put your P and P. All right, it says our whole number is nine. So once again, we have to count to see if the big number is nine. So go ahead and we're gonna count all the cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does it work? Yeah, good, go ahead and put a little check mark there. And erase that for a minute. Now we need to count our parts. Well, let's see, it says our part is either five or four. So why don't we go ahead and count our gray boxes here. We have a one, two, three. So three of those are shaded gray boxes. Let's count the white ones. I'm gonna get a different color for that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three and six. Let's see, I need to go back over and look at my parts. Does that have a three? No. Does that have a three? No. Okay, I'm not seeing that. How about the six, is that a six? Nope. What about this, is that a six? No, I don't think that's gonna work. That number bond does not match the cubes. So I'm gonna go back and circle no. Next one, same thing. So we're gonna start by looking at our number bond. And we need to find our whole number and that's the biggest number. So what's the big number? Three, six, or nine? Yeah, nine is the big number again. So go ahead, write your W for whole. You can put your two P's in for part, part. All right, so if nine is our big whole number, we have to count to make sure that we have nine blocks. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does that work? Yes, good. That one works, so we have nine cubes to start. Now we need to count the gray ones. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six gray ones. And let's go ahead and count the white ones. One, two, three. Three white ones. All right, now we need to check it with our number bond. So we have six gray ones. That's one of our parts. Do we see a six here? I hope that's a three. How about here? Yeah, that one's a six. So we can go ahead and put our check mark next to the first part that's a six. Now it says three is our second part. We have three blue or three white squares. So do you see that we have three white squares here and then we have a three as our second part? Are those numbers equal? Yes. So to me, that looks like our number bond is correct. We have nine, it's our whole number, broken into three and six, our two parts. So that is a yes. All right, in our second page, we keep going. But this one, we're gonna have to put the numbers in ourselves, and that's all right, we know how to do that. So go ahead, find your number bond, and look for the big whole number. Remember, the whole number is gonna be in the circle all by himself. Do you see where the whole number is gonna be? Yeah, where the nine is. So go ahead, write your W, and your part, and your other part. So this is telling us that we have nine blocks to start out with. Let's see if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I got nine. So go ahead and put your little check mark. Now we need to count the shaded boxes first. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. I have four gray boxes. I'm gonna switch colors to count the white ones. One, two, three, four, five. And five white boxes. So there are my two parts. Remember, if nine is our whole number, we had nine, nine cubes, we're gonna see that four of those are the first part. And five of those are the second part. And this doesn't have us click yes or no. You just have to find the right one. Good, next one. So this one doesn't give us any numbers. Can you find which of these is the whole number? Is it gonna be this one, this one, or this one? Okay, you should know that the whole number the whole number is the one by itself. See how this has little sticks coming out? He's by himself. So I'm going to put part, part, whole. Let's see what our whole number is. That's the number of cubes that we have to start out with. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we still have nine? Yeah, we have nine cubes to start. That's still our whole number. Good. Now, we're gonna count the shaded boxes first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our first number is seven, seven shaded boxes. And how many white boxes? Or cubes, I should say. One, two two cubes. So what this is showing us is that when you take the seven cubes and you take two more cubes and you put them together, you get nine, your whole number right here. So our parts are seven and two. I'm going to write that with my red pen. All right, two more to go. So once again, look over here at your number bond. We need to find our part, part, whole. I hope you're getting good at this. Write your W by your whole number, part, your other part. 
we need to count how many cubes we have to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's always good to count when you start because even though they probably have nine, it's still good to double check. So we have nine as our whole number again. Good. Now we need to count our shaded cubes. So go ahead and count just the ones that are shaded in. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have four over here. Now let's count our white cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And there are the two parts. This is telling us that four and five is equal to nine, nine cubes. There's a lot going on them. So our first part, go back to your pencil. You said it was four and the second part was five. Now you can always check this with your fingers. Watch, four and five. So we know this is part, part, whole when they come together. So if I have four fingers, one, two, three, four, and five, one, two, three, four, five, and I put them together, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good mathematicians use tools to help them learn, and your fingers are tools, so you can always check your work that way. All right, look at the very bottom. Here's your number one. Find part, part, whole. Part, part, whole. How did I know that? Because the whole number is always by itself. You have, let's see, we need to count <clears throat> to find our whole number. We need to see how many cubes we have to start. So let's do our counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, we still have nine. Let's go ahead and write that in. Now we're gonna count the shaded boxes. We have one, two. And we're gonna count the white boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is saying that two, and seven is nine. Well, let's check it. I had seven fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I had two more. Eight, nine. Does that work? Yeah. So you take your pencil and seven. Oh, we had two first. Doesn't really matter, but that's okay. We'll keep it so that it matches our blocks. We had two shaded boxes and seven white boxes. And that's it. I hope that helped with part part whole. We will keep doing it for the rest of the week.